In this video, I'm going to plan out a week in my Erin Condren monthly planner on one of the line pages using very minimal stickers, maybe none. I don't know, we'll find out. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kristen, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post functional planning videos three times a week, um, usually using an Erin Condren planner. Um, all of 2023 so far, it's been in my monthly planner. I like to plan out my week on one of the lined notes pages. So this is the current week that we're in. I'm actually filming this a little bit early on Thursday. And you can see there's nothing going on this current week. And guess what? There's nothing going on the week we're going to be planning today either. So um, let's look at the monthly spread. And you can see this is the week we're planning here and it's mostly just a couple of little tasks and maybe a haircut. That's really the only reason we have to leave the house this week. Well, I mean, we leave the house, like we go to tennis practice and I go run errands and stuff, but there's no like scheduled appointment. Um, and yeah, so I think this is a good opportunity to just show you how since, you know, I don't have like a weekly spread already printed on the page, I can use this page however I want. And in this case, I don't need to use much of it. Like just like this week, this was actually spring break week from school too. So like they're just, we just kind of chilled at the house and didn't do anything special. And you can see there's nothing on my list. I never even added more. Um, and I actually think what I will do since this video is gonna be very short, um, there's not gonna be much planning happening on this page. I might go back and just make a list of something I wanna get done on Sunday. Okay, so let's take off this. So normally I use a big sticky note on my pages to kind of use it as a placeholder for the week and then I can write on that. Um, for pre-planning or just to jot anything down I might need to know since I don't already have, you know, the printed like note section on this page like you would in a traditional like weekly planner. So that's my solution for that. I just use a sticky note. Um, I have my reusable sticker album from Orange Umbrella Co that I just keep a bunch of stickers in that I may or may not use. What I do in here is I have like all of my black and white or neutral stickers and scripts in this section here. And I organize them based on what they are. So like these are all to do, and these are like things you might leave the house for, just basic words like important, don't forget. Um, this is like social media stuff. These are just pencils, I don't know, that's just a random page. This is like fun stuff, I guess, or like media type stuff, like books, movies, TV, um, Formula One. These are just dots and things. And um, I just have some little flight info stickers here that I don't have a ton of, so I just stuck them down there. And what else do we have in here? School related things. And then I kept a blank page for, you can see it's pretty full. And in case I had some more school stickers, brain dump, that kind of stuff. Today, these are anything that I kind of figured was more like, like a word that described like a time period, like a day or a month or a week or whatever. It goes here. Um, health and fitness, um, work, birthdays and occasions, and then some blank pages for whatever reason. Um, bills and paydays and savings, financial stuff, some more blank spots food and dinner, and this is like cleaning and house projects, and then just some more blank pages. Um, this section here is where I have all of my colorful things, and I have them broken up into the 12 Erin Condren monthly colors. So this first page is just all of the Erin Condren colors. These were from Planner Kate, and they're just all of the colors together. But then you have like January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. And what I do is I take all of the stuff that matches those colors and put them together. So you've got all the labels and headers and checklists and all the different boxes and things and scripts that are the color of the monthly color, any of the icons, it's all together because I typically only use stickers when I'm planning out 
my monthly spreads and I want all of the same color because I'm doing like a monochrome kind of thing following the Erin Condren color scheme. And so when I go to plan out April, I will have all of my April stickers, you know, all in one spot. So that's how I do that. And then in the back is just miscellaneous stuff that doesn't fit in and like deco and just random things um, that I don't really reach for that much. And then like leftover washi in the back. Anyway, I wasn't really planning on doing like a whole tour of my reusable album, but there it is. Um, I brought it over here in case I wanted to use stickers here. Really, all we're doing is just making a to-do list. I don't even need to draw out a weekly overview on this one. Um, it's literally just gonna be a list and that's okay. Like, actually, I prefer my life that way. Personally, I do not like being like over, over scheduled. Um, luckily, my family kind of feels the same way. And so, uh, you know, my son is only in like one activity at a time and I don't have to worry about like getting him to and from a bunch of places. So it works out pretty well for our, our lifestyle and I would not change that if I had a choice. So um, I have my stencil here from Christian Designs. It's the collab with Katie K Plans. This is actually made for a daily duo, but I use the squares to make my check boxes. I might not even use this actually. Um, you can see on my monthly checklist, I don't make boxes. I just leave a space for a check mark and I'll, I'll probably just do that here. So let's go with, um, I don't need this. I'll show you this in a minute. Um, let's see, what do we have in here? We can use some leftover washi from the back. Um, this is like springtime-ish. I do really like this. This was from, when, what month was this, January? Um, let's just go with this rainbow washi, just for the colors. And we'll put it across the top here. This was just off of, um, I think it was off the side of a Planner Kate sheet. And I do keep my week number stickers back here and I do have a week 12 left, so I'm going to use that. And let me grab, oh, well, I'm making a mess. This is just a little like envelope I tape to the back here to use as like a little pocket. What do I have in here? Oh, there's some fun stickers. They don't match or I would have thought, hey, let's use them. I could use these plants. They don't really match either. I don't know, I'll leave them out, we'll see. Since I'm not using this page for much, um, I have the ability to fill it up with deco if I wanted to. Um, let's go for, um, I want something that's like an orphan. So like with the stickers that have more than one of the same, I like to keep those together. So since they match, um, I can use this dark pink one because I have a ton of pink and this is like the only one like that in that color. And let's just put it over here this time. Week 12. This would be a good spot to use that um, Erin Condren washi tape, I think. Um, but I don't have one. It's like this where it says contact but they also have, it's like a roll and it has a bunch of different words and it says like to do. But I think I'm going to use this big to do and I'll just take like one of these checklist icons. And I'm not even gonna layer this on a sticker because I do like it to be pretty um, like white spacey. There we go. And then we'll just put this little checklist, which I think came from Orange Umbrella Co. It's just a checklist on like a clipboard. I know that's hard to see because it's tiny. Um, let me check my monthly one more time. So we've got some paydays, but I don't need to mark that in my um, weekly spread. And I do want to do, which I have on my list here is like goal stuff 
one, just like review my month, but also that's the end of March. So that means it's the end of quarter one. So I need to work on my goal stuff and I will have a video about that. Um, but I need to make a savings deposit. Um, I don't need to water my plants. I have that on here, but I watered them this week on, I think it was on Tuesday. So I'm going to actually move that. Um, my plants don't really like to be watered, so I try to let them go until they're like bone dry before I water them. And, and sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's like six weeks, who knows? Um, and then it's just filming, but I already have that on a checklist, the haircut and then the groceries. So, so savings deposit, goal stuff haircut groceries. So I'm going to use, this is a Pilot G2 number 10. This is the super bold one. I love this pen on Erin Condren paper. All right, so, and here is where I'm left-handed. And so you can see this coil here is in the way when I'm on this side. So I'm actually gonna turn it this way and that kind of helps it keep up at the same height. You can also like stack something underneath it to lift this up um, to be like level here. But I don't know if I have anything I can do that with, like that, you know, and that helps too. So um, I need to do a savings deposit. And we have, I'm just gonna write goal stuff because I don't need to break that out into like tasks, individual tasks on this list. Cause I'm gonna do that like on its own and like in a video. Um, I need to look at, I downloaded the um, app called Fit On. It's like a fitness app. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm not like a fitness person, <laughs> but I get like a premium membership or something for free for a while with my Walmart plus membership. So I thought, I don't know, I'll try it and see what they have. And they have some like meditation stuff on there. And I like that kind of thing. I like that like meditation and yoga more than I like fitness classes. So I don't know. I need to look at it and see if I like it. It also syncs with my Fitbit. Um, I have a Fitbit Sense. I don't know, I'm not wearing it right now, but um, it syncs with that. So I just, I need to take a look at it um, and see if I wanna keep it on my phone or not. Um, what was the other thing on this list? Savings deposit, oh, haircut. And then it's not a race week, right? No. Um, I need to do the grocery order. Actually, I'm gonna write grocery list here because I did like revamp my whole menu plan um, for summertime. And I, I have all my grocery lists already made. Um, I'll link the video up here where I talk about that, but um, I actually need to like redo it for summer so that, um, yeah. So I'm gonna, I need to make the actual grocery list in my Google document and then I need to do, um, I need to order the groceries. And then um, the grocery delivery is usually Sunday. Um, I'm gonna write Sunday 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then just write groceries. I don't really need that on my list. It's not really something I need to like remember that I'm gonna forget, but whatever. Um, I also need to look into if there's something that we can do fun that's like driving distance from Houston, like for the summer, like a little short summer trip. I wanna do some research on that. And, um, Anything I don't get done. I have a whole lot of yard work to do this weekend, which I already have that stuff on my list here. Um, anything that doesn't get done, I'll put it over here. And then what else is here? 
We're gonna talk about this project in my goal video, but the quilt I'm not gonna finish, but I'm gonna put it here. I'm just gonna put work on quilt. And then everything else that typically goes on a to-do list, like cleaning, laundry, that kind of stuff, that's all in my phone. I do, um, that's all repetitive stuff. And I have my like cleaning schedule mapped out in my Google tasks. And so on the days that those certain things needs to get done, it shows up on my phone and I do it that way instead of having to like annoy myself by writing the same things over and over in my planner. And then content planning, I already have that mapped out here. So I don't need to write any of that down and dinner. So I can put my list of dinners and we have a sticker for that. That's towards the back over here, I think. And let's use this one that just says dinner. And I don't have, I don't think I have, let's look in like the pink. I think I have those little um, like crock pots. I have some of those. Let me look in yellow because I know I have a lot of yellow stickers. I just try to use up the ones that I have a lot of yellow. Oh, I have a ton of this blue color. Let's use that. All right. So the way I do dinner is I don't schedule out the meals. Um, I just make a list of the things that I have on hand. Um, and then I just cross off stuff as we make it. And then if something doesn't get made, I can either make sure to have it like the following week if something's gonna go bad or throw stuff in the freezer for it or maybe I will make it during like my meal prep day and um, freeze like the made, like the ready-made meal. This is crooked and it's bothering me. And this is not on the line and that's bothering me too. All right, and then let me get my phone. I've got my um, my phone here. Oops, let me go, here we go. So week 12, what are we eating? Okay, so burgers, taco salad. Taco salad has kind of replaced tacos on the list of I'm gonna have to move those stickers in a minute. Um, taco salad has replaced regular tacos for like Taco Tuesday during the summer. We still do breakfast for dinner. I don't think I need to write that down. Um, we'll do salmon. I don't know how I'm gonna make that yet, either on the grill or in the air fryer or something, probably the air fryer. Fend for yourself, I don't need to write down. Some kind of Asian chicken salad. Um, I don't know. Um, I think I have a recipe for that. I have to check my, um, my bookmarks and then just grilled chicken. That's another thing we always have, but I'm going to write it here too. So grilled chicken. All right. Now let's fix this dinner situation. Wow, those all did fall out, didn't they? Um, I do have a lot of this blue color. Do I have any singles? I don't think I do have any singles here. What else do I have a lot of? I have a lot of purple. Here's a single. Since I used the rainbow washi, I can get away with using whatever color I want. Okay. Dinner. <laughs> I guess, sure. Um, okay, so that's it. Like that's the plan for the week. And that's what I love about using this monthly planner is that I can just make whatever I want 
and I still have all the space if I need to jot anything down while I'm at my desk or if I need to go and make like a list I can add to my list. I can, you know, make a new list as things come up. So I did say I wanted to add something over here and that's what I'm going to do. Actually, let me get rid of um, this and let me put this sticky note um, for three weeks later. So that will be um, in week 15. is here okay I don't have any placeholders there yet so I had to kind of count real quick oh I didn't use these can I make a little plant for fun um just for fun these came from orange umbrella co and it's just like a cute little like sheet of plants and pots so you can kind of build your own that doesn't work. I think that would look better in like a short fat planter. <laughs> um, you can kind of build your own plant. I just think it's so cute. There we go. There's a cute plant. <laughs> that can just remind me to check on my plants. I don't think they're going to need water. They shouldn't. All right, let's put this back before I lose it. And over here, I, um, like I said, today when I'm filming this is Thursday and I always do my meal prep on Sundays. And so what I would like, wanna do here, I brought my little notebook and I did say I was gonna show you how I use this. This is just a notebook that I keep in my purse. I think at the beginning of the year, I said I was gonna use my Erin Condren, like mid-century circles petite journal that has like the productivity pages in it. Um, but then I found this and I'm loving it. It's just a little notebook. It's called, it's from Zequins and um, I got it on Amazon and it's bendy. Like you can bend it, it opens flat and stays, well, it doesn't, you kind of have to go like that, but it'll like stay flat. And it's just like, I love it. I just like added stuff to it. I glued an envelope to the back here to make a pocket. I threw some sticky notes in and it just stays in my purse. Lately, I mean, I haven't really been going anywhere. So it's just, I use it on my desk if I need to just like make a list for the day since I'm using this for like a week. I'll just kind of throw a list together uh, in the morning just to like, brain dump, even if it's already written down, it just kind of helps me think about how I want the day to go. Anyway, I, I want open to these. I had this like sticky note that I put here. This was a sticky note I made one day for meal prep. And then this was a list I wrote out for meal prep. So I just want to have this here off to the side. Um, and, and I'm going to use it to just make a list of the things that I need to make this weekend. Um, and I'm not even going to do anything special here. I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to write, um, I'm just going to write meal prep. And it's really food prep. I don't actually make all the meals. I, I need to start calling it food prep because it's more of like an ingredient prep, I guess. I cook like a bunch of proteins and I cook or I clean and like cut up a bunch of fruits and vegetables just so I have everything ready for me to eat during the week. Um, I kind of follow a slightly special diet. And so if I don't have anything prepped, like I will make bad choices. So um, I am gonna make hard boiled eggs. I'm just gonna shorten that to say HB eggs. And then um, <clears throat> a pitcher of iced tea. And I think I will make some chicken wings in the air fryer. I eat these cold. <laughs> I eat a lot of my protein cold. I'm really weird like that. Like for lunch, I will eat cold chicken or cold steak or cold salmon. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just like it better that way. Um, chicken wings. And um, what else? I don't know what kind of fruit. I, mean, I always buy grapes. So I need to wash grapes. I like to wash them and pick them off the vine and just kind of keep them in a container. Um, and then there's always carrots and cucumber. And I, 
I leave those like I do carrot sticks. I don't like baby carrots. I feel like they just taste like water. I feel like real, like the full carrots that you have to peel and chop up, those actually taste like carrots. So I do the extra step and I peel them and cut them up into sticks and I just like them better that way. And then if I need carrots for dinner or a salad, I can chop up the sticks. Um, Cucumber, I just slice, I do like half moons on those and then those are ready for salads. I actually chop them up if I make a salad or if I'm just eating them like raw, then I leave them in the half moons. Um, oh, the lettuce, I need to like cut up and wash the lettuce. Um, that's another thing. I don't really like to buy the bagged salad lettuce. I just feel like when I get like the pack of romaine heads and like cut them up myself and wash them, they just last longer, I don't know, and it's cheaper. Um, oh, and then I need to make a vinaigrette. I just put that in a jar and shake it up, and then I have vinaigrette for my salads for the week. And then um, I do want to make some meatballs, I think. And then depending on what I end up ordering from the grocery store, like other fruit, like um, like a watermelon or a cantaloupe, or I don't know. I don't wash my berries ahead of time because they last longer if you don't wash them until you're ready to use them. And I think that's, I think that's probably it. So this is the stuff I'm gonna work on on Sunday after my groceries come and after the race. And then I might go ahead and make the rest of that list here. Um, but I like, like I said, I have kind of been writing it here. This stuff didn't happen. <laughs> That's why there's only a few checked off. I just didn't have, I don't know. I haven't really had the mental headspace to deal with stuff and it's like wearing on me. <laughs> so I'm really trying to get ahead of it. Um, anyway, so that is that. And this is really all there is to um, the plans this week. Um, I, maybe it was boring, I don't know, but this is just how my life is. So sorry about that, I guess, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.